Welcome to my Gripes With, the show where I talk about the things that I don't like, about the things that I do like. And today, we're going to take a look at Star vs. The Forces of Evil. Now, before we begin, I will note that at the point of recording this, this show is only in its first season. So, there's a good chance that any of my problems with it could get fixed. So, if that happens, I could just make a addendum video later saying that, okay, they fixed this. Anyways, let's begin. We're gonna start with two gripes. The opening and ending themes are both really bad. I mean, I don't want to insult the person or people who wrote the lyrics, but really to me, it sounds like that you put the least amount of effort possible. I mean, just listen. I mean, I'll admit, I'm not a songwriter, I probably couldn't do better, but if you're hired to write the theme for a show, I would expect some more effort, but yeah, there's a reason why these are the first two, these are the most minor problems I have. This guy's voice. Yay! I will make a great pixie king! And be very tyrannical. Wow, I think we might have found someone who sounds worse than Icarus from Hercules. Well, leave it to Disney to outdo themselves. Well, I wouldn't call Star a Mary Sue or anything. I do feel that the background characters in the school she goes to do like her more than they should. I mean, out of the students in the school, she is pretty much liked by everyone. Well, except for one person. The only kid at the school who doesn't like her is a completely generic bitch. I mean, she shows no reason why she hates Star, she just does. It just seems that at this point in the series, she's just a one-dimensional character. I mean, if you're going to make a bitchy bully character, make another Pacifica Northwest, not another Diamond Tiara. And for anyone who's seen the previous episode of my gripes with about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, yes, I did forget about Diamond Tiara's existence, you could count that as another gripe towards MLP. Okay, the rest of these pretty much go together, so I'm just going to talk while the counter in the corner just goes up. So yeah. I'm just going to say it. Star should have had her wand taken away from her by her parents. I mean, she showed that she has no way of controlling it, and just the fact that she was able to keep it, it just seems like her parents were just dumping their problem elsewhere. Though I'm not so sure if I can say that she can't use it because that just seems inconsistent. Sometimes she doesn't know how to use it, other times she seems to be an expert. It really just seems like it has to be what the plot demands it. Sometimes it causes the problems, other times it fixes the problems. It just keeps bouncing back and forth. But if she had the one taken away from her, or if she was just really good with it, or just really bad with it, I guess we wouldn't have a show now, would we? Which brings us to our next gripe. The wand is complete and other MacGuffin. Which, to explain for those who might not know the definition of the word MacGuffin, it's pretty much an item in a story that is really important and if you took it out, the story could not work. If your show has an item in it that if you remove, the plot would completely cave in on itself, that's not a good thing. Look at it this way. Gravity Falls can survive without the journals. Dragon Ball Z, ironically, can survive without the Dragon Balls. Star vs. the Forces of Evil cannot survive without Star's wand. It drives the plot, it usually causes or fixes problems, and it's what the main villain is after. And since we're on the subject of the villain, I'm just going to say this. He shows up every other episode. To me, that makes him less and less of a threat every time he gets defeated. I feel like the show can really improve if it got a rogues gallery of several villains. Or another possible option if you just want to have one major villain, go with a Monster of the Week formula. I mean, the main bad guy has all these minions. If he just sent one each episode, 
they would look more impressive than they do in the actual show, where he and a bunch of them show up, and they all get their asses kicked. So, that was my gripes with Star vs. the Forces of Evil. To be honest, I am harsh on the show. I mean, to be honest, at the moment, I feel like it's done nothing that's really different from Steven Universe or Avenger Time, other than having a female protagonist. But, there is a lot of potential in this show. If they improve on the problems they have, this show can be really good, and I want that. Star vs. the Force of Evil, I want you to make this video outdated. I want you to prove me wrong. It's just up to you to make me wrong. So please, improve on your flaws and prove me wrong. It's gonna get a little